All right, so in this video, we're going to look at the fantastic pattern that's kind of staring right at us here in the decimal expansions. That means the equivalent decimals of one, two, three, four, five, and six sevenths. So you might want to pause the video and take a look for yourself and see what you can come up with. Well, when you're looking for patterns, you know, it's okay to try and pick out anything you notice. For example, you might notice, okay, they all start with zero, and they all have these decimal points here, and you might think, well, what does that mean? Well, if they start with a zero and the decimal points here, and they're all positive, that means they're less than one, but greater than zero, and that makes sense, right? Sevenths are fractions between zero and one. Then you might notice, okay, they all have these lines above them, and that means they repeat forever and ever. Okay. Then you might notice, oh, well, look at that. The repeating pattern for each of them has one, two, three, four, five, six digits, and they all have one, two, three, four, five, six digits. Okay, so far it's getting a little bit cooler. But then you might notice, oh, wow, look at that. The digits that are repeating, the one, it appears in all of them. They all have a one. Oh, that's nice. They all have a four, too. Okay, I see a four. They all have ones and fours. What else do they have? This has a two. Do they all have twos? Oh, yeah, they all have twos. And as you go through, you're going to notice, wow, look at that. They all have eights, right? Just like the first one. And fives, just like the first one. And sevens, just like in the first one. Seven, 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 seven. So let's just recap. They're all fractions between zero and one. They all repeat forever. They all have a pattern of six digits that repeat. And not only that, but the digits that are repeating are all the same. So is there more to it? Is there some kind of like nice order to these digits? Well, it's kind of hard to see the order when they're in a line. But one great thing about problem solving is sometimes when you change your perspective, you really get some insight. So here, instead of writing our numbers in a line, let's write them in a circle and see what happens. So one, four, two, eight, five, and seven. So in the first in the first decimal expansion, one, four, two, eight, five, seven, if you look at our circle, that means we start here at one, and then we go around. One, four, two, eight, five, seven. That's the first one. Does the second one also kind of fit the circle? Two, eight, five, seven, one, four. Let's see. What happens if we start at two now for two sevenths? It goes two, eight, five, seven, one, four. And that's what we have here, two, eight, five, seven, one, four. So it seems that if we follow this circle here, kind of like a clock, we're able to find the order of the digits. Could it be that simple? Let's see. Three sevenths starts back here at four, so it seems to kind of jump around as to where it starts. But then once we start at four, if we go around to two, eight, five, seven, one, right, we follow that kind of clock pattern here, clockwise. We do get our digits, four, two, eight, five, seven, one. And for four sevenths, we start over here at five and follow around in a full circle clockwise to seven, one, four, two, eight, and we have that here. And for five sevenths, we start at seven and then go around clockwise to one, four, two, eight, five, and that's our pattern. And for six sevenths, we start at eight. And that goes around, oops, that's, oh boy, I really butchered that eight. That's an eight. It goes eight five seven one four two. So this pattern, this if we put the numbers into a circle, we can see oh, sevens just follow the circular pattern of digits, and this stops at seven sevenths. Why? Well, seven sevenths is just one, and it also stops at zero sevenths because zero sevenths is just zero. So this amazing pattern seems to only exist here in these six positions of sevenths. Isn't that fantastic? Numbers really are beautiful. All right, thanks.